So, I thought this was interesting enough to make a quick video. Here we have the Symphonion, the mother of all quantizers. Um, it's got its chord generating system here. And right next to it, we have the Qubit Chord 2, which is a quad oscillator with a whole bunch of chord generating features in it, which, because I have a Symphonion, I don't care about. But what I do care about is that if I go up here on this chord two and put it in the light blue mode, light right there, um, we are in what they call uh, their unison mode. And now I can take my pitch outputs from the Symphonion and run them into a bunch of the input jacks on this chord two that would normally be used to CV all these parameters. But in this case, I'm going to use them as individual oscillators for my chord generator in the Symphonion. So we're just going to go ahead and plug these in. And when we're in unison mode, all those dials up above, they, they, most of them don't do anything. Uh, we're just completely repurposing these jacks. I'll go into tune mode, which is what you'd normally do. And uh, I'm, I'm tuning to C2, and this is just a, I'm just running this out to my tuner from the root. And uh, I'll just get this around C2. Up, up, up. Close enough. All right. And we'll pop that out. And now I'm just gonna, for my own convenience, we got separate outputs for all four oscillators here, but for my own convenience, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna take the mix and I'm gonna leave tuning mode. Oh my, we have a chord. All right. And I'll just hook up an envelope and a simple sequence. And there we go. Chord generator, inexpensive, wave tables. Multiple banks of wave tables. Did I mention you can load your own wave tables on this SD card? Pretty neat. And you only have to tune one voice because it's in unison mode and then all the rest of them are just offsets from there. About the only thing I've noticed that Symphonion users might want to be aware of is that uh, it doesn't look at the moment like Chord likes negative bolt per octave values, negative CV values. So you may have to work around that a little bit because the Symphonion does, by default at least, put out a, a negative voltage for the lowest two octaves. But that should be something you can work around. Enjoy!